Hello everyone, my name is Alexa and I am the Assistant Head of the Digital Services Department at the Niles Main District Library. Today we will be discussing email basics. For the demonstration today, I will be showing examples using Gmail and Yahoo email. By the end of this video, you will be able to log in and out of your email account, create and send an email message, reply and forward your emails, send and download email attachments, and know the steps of printing an email. I encourage you to take what you learned today and practice as much and as frequently as you can on your own to build skills and confidence when using email. So what is email? Electronic mail, commonly known as email, is a method of exchanging digital messages from an author to one or more recipients. In other words, it's a letter sent over the web. To get an email address, you simply need to sign up for an email account. There are many free email services or providers, such as Gmail, Yahoo, and Outlook. It's important to note that all free email providers will use some of your personal information to offer you advertisements. This is nothing to be alarmed by, but it is something to be aware of. When signing up for an email service, you'll choose an email address. This consists of a username followed by the at sign and your email service. You'll also choose a password. It's important to choose a password that you can remember and one that is strong. Here are some tips for creating a strong password. A strong password is at least eight characters long, does not contain your username, real name, or company name, does not contain a complete word, is significantly different from previous passwords that you've used, and contains characters from each of the following four categories, uppercase letters, lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols found on the keyboard which includes spaces and all characters not defined as letters or numbers. To sign up for a Yahoo account, go to yahoo.com. In the upper right corner, select Mail. Then select Create an account. Fill in all the information before clicking on the button that says Continue. You may have to prove you're not a robot before continuing on to the next step. You'll then be sent a verification code to the phone number provided. You'll also have the option to have the verification code sent to you via a phone call. Type in the verification code you've been sent before selecting the blue button that says Verify. When the screen shows the Welcome to Yahoo message, you will know that you've successfully created your email account. To sign up for a Gmail account, go to google.com. In the upper right corner, select Sign In. To create an account, select Create an account. Fill out all the information on the screen before selecting the blue Next button. Fill out the next screen of information before selecting the blue Next button. Scroll through the privacy and terms before selecting I agree. Going back to the main Google page means that you have successfully created your email account. In order to access your email, you will need to go to your email provider's website. This is a good example of a site to bookmark or save to your favorites since you will be using it frequently. Logging in requires entering your email address and the password you've chosen. Once you've signed in, you will see your homepage or inbox. The inbox displays new messages and any messages that you've chosen not to delete or place in a folder. Inboxes look different depending on your email provider, but they all have the same basic layout. You can customize and sort your inbox to meet your preferences. For most email providers, you can sort your inbox by clicking on the column headings. Your Gmail inbox may look a little different as Gmail sorts your emails based on preferences. These categories are primary emails from people that you know, your social tab, which are messages from social networks or other media sharing sites, and promotions, which usually include deals, offers, newsletters, and other call to action emails.
To create a new message in Gmail, click on Compose. A new message window will open in the right corner of your screen. Enter the email address or addresses of the person who you want to send the email to in the To field. You can enter as many addresses as you wish, just separate the email addresses by commas, or click Add CC, which stands for Carbon Copy. In the Subject field, enter a title for your email so the receiver knows what your message is about. Click into the body of the email to type your message. When you're ready to send your email, click on the button that says Send. Similar to Gmail, in your Yahoo account, click on Compose to start a new message. In the To field, start typing in the addresses you'd like to send the message to. Make sure you have a subject line so your reader knows what the message is about. And then you can write your message in the body of the email before selecting the blue Send button. Never send sensitive information via email, such as a credit card, bank account, PIN, or social security numbers. If someone asks for information, such as your credit card, request a phone number or fax that you can use to transmit this information. Replying to an email that has been sent to you is very similar to sending a new email, except that you will click Reply instead of Compose. Once you have clicked Reply, you will see a screen that's very similar to a new message window, except that the To field is already filled in with the recipient's email. In the body, the original message details are included for your reference. Begin typing your reply at the top of the message. Once you have completed your reply, click Send. When the recipient receives your reply, the subject will start with RE followed by the original subject line. This lets the recipient know that this is a reply to the previous message. To forward an email, click Forward. You will then see the original message displayed in the body. A forwarded email looks very similar to a reply email, except you will need to enter the email address into the To field to those you wish to receive the forwarded message. If you want to preface this forwarded message with an explanation, you can type above the forwarded message, just like you would in a reply. When the recipient receives your forward, the subject will start with FWD, followed by the original subject line. This lets the recipient know that this message you are sending them is being forwarded. When sending an email, you can attach files such as documents, photos, or music files that are then sent along with your email. You can add multiple files up to the file size limit that your email provider has in place. To attach a file, select the paperclip icon, which is usually close to the send button. Find the document you want from your files and select choose or OK to attach it to your email message. When you click send, this document will be sent along with your email message. When you receive an email attachment, you may want to download it to save it to your computer or to print. Hover your cursor over the document you wish to download and then select the down arrow to download it onto your computer. In Gmail, you have the option to download the document or you can save it automatically to your Google Drive. It's often not necessary to manually add a contact to your address book since many email providers automatically remember addresses that you emailed to prior. To manually add a contact in Gmail, go to the upper right corner and select the grid, then select Contacts. On the next screen, you can see all your contacts in your contact list, but you can also create a contact by selecting the button. You can create a single contact or create multiple contacts in a group. To add a contact in your Yahoo account, select the contacts icon, which is right under your account name. From the bottom of the window, select add a new contact. You're then able to add information to that contact, such as phone number, physical address, and website.
printing an email can often result in strange formatting and unwanted extra information. The best way to print an email is to use the print button within your email message rather than the print option in the browser menu. The print icon is usually located in the upper right corner of your message. Once selected, a screen will open that will show you the layout of the email, which has been formatted specifically for printing. When you have completed your email session, it's important to log out. Logging out is especially important when using a public computer, as others can access your email if you have not ended or closed out your session. To log out of your Yahoo account, go to your name in the upper right corner and then select Sign Out. To sign out of Gmail, go to your initial in the upper right corner and then select Sign Out. If you're using a public computer, it's also a good idea to close your internet browser after you log out of your email account. During this video, we've covered how to log in and out of your email account, how to create, send, reply, and forward messages, how to attach and download attachments, as well as adding contacts and printing email messages. Hopefully you feel more familiar and confident with using email for all your personal and professional needs. That concludes our video tutorial of email basics. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, you can call the Digital Services Desk at 847-663-6606 or use the chat feature on the library's website at www.nileslibrary.org.